The Child Jesus and I Experiences and Visions Part 2 In my first video, I gave an account of the origin of this relationship of mine with the Child Jesus. It was something that began around 1992. In a first vision in which the Child Jesus got down from the arms of the Blessed Virgin Mary and hid behind her. Then came out again as children do when they hide. From there began this beautiful relationship with the child Jesus. However, I did not pay much attention to it until the year 2000, when the child Jesus appeared to me again in another vision in which he had a brush to paint and also dozens of jars of paint available to paint. In my heart, I heard his voice proposing to work with me and offering me to paint my life with his heavenly help. By the grace of God, I have been able to find this beautiful devotion to the child Jesus, and it is my desire to bear witness to all these wonders that God offers us in his sacred humanity, but in a special way in his divine infancy. The humanity of Jesus as a child is a source of innocence that has come to fill my life in this encounter that has brought me many spiritual benefits and has helped me to follow the gospel by entering into that spirituality desired by Jesus in Matthew 18, verse 3. Truly I tell you, Unless you change and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. To be like children is to learn to live in the will of God as a child does, taking out of our life all kinds of dissatisfactions and accepting every day the gift that God gives us. This devotion has taught me to live in the presence of God having that intimate love with Jesus in his divine infancy. For me, it is like having a new child in my home, with the difference that it is God whom I love and accompany daily. This love for the child Jesus grows daily with my love for the Holy Eucharist and the Blessed Virgin Mary. Many are afraid to be like children, because they think they will be too childish, but it is not about that. It is about overcoming pride and understanding the greatness of God, our Heavenly Father, who looks at us as a little ones. It is also about participating in the Holy Family and glorifying Jesus, who is God, in His divine infancy. For we cannot underestimate the eternal states of a God who became incarnate and became like one of us. I speak to the child Jesus with words of a child, because he has given me that confidence and I have taken it. Normally, when I speak to him, I call him my divine potato, remembering that vision that he gave me full of power to rescue me and protect me from the enemy that was attacking me. I always invite him to all my activities, and he rewards me by filling my soul with joy and giving me many visions. Sometimes I tell him, Little child Jesus, you have come to my house. You are blessing my life. And for that reason, I treat you with much affection. So much so that I wish to be like a daddy to you. My burning desire is to exalt his divine mercy. And that is why I ask him to manifest his mercy in my night visions. To forgive 70 times 7 multiplied by infinity. Because he knows how much that is. Forgiving all human beings, healing the sick, scaring devils, and throwing them out of souls.
turning the hearts of stone of sinners into hearts of flesh, giving peace to the dying, healing the sick, and freeing many souls from purgatory. I say to him, Little child Jesus, see how the sick suffer everywhere. Visit them, forgive them, and show them your mercy. Glorify yourself, child Jesus. I tell him, Little child Jesus, in a vision I saw how they sent me a dump truck full of red stones, which they emptied near me, and someone told me, Here they send you this, Joseph. I understand, little child Jesus, that they are souls that we have to cover with your precious blood, so that you may convert them into hearts of flesh. Then I say to him, Child Jesus, let us go to those souls influenced and possessed by the devil, so that when you pass by there, all those devils will run away. I also say to him, Child Jesus, let us go to the dying. Many are very worried about their eternal destiny, but we go so that you may forgive them and give them the peace to accept the divine will. I also tell him, Little child Jesus, let us go to visit the souls in purgatory, so that you show your compassion to many of them and free them. See that they are suffering and complaining. Fire in the morning, fire in the middle of the day, and fire at night. Mercy, 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 little Jesus. And well, the extraordinary thing is that the visions I have received reflect those merciful works that Jesus does in his holy infancy. The child Jesus is God. And because he is a child, he does not cease to manifest himself as God. God in his greatness, being the spirit of his word, became incarnate of the Blessed Virgin Mary and became a human being like any of us. As a father myself, I had the experience of raising three children, and now that paternal affection has been renewed in me with this new devotion. I feel the need to cherish the infancy of Jesus and to accompany him as St. Joseph the Blessed Virgin Mary did. It is an encouragement to my wife and I as she also shares this beautiful devotion. Although she has not received the privilege of the visions I've received, I tell her about them, and she reacts with great joy. One night before I went to sleep, for it is in those moments that the child Jesus manifests himself by showing me visions, I told him, little child Jesus, the nanny, that is what I call my wife for the child Jesus, she wants you to show her your merciful portents that you open her eyes and give her the same gift that you have given me. Please, before going to look for souls, give her a little gift. I had a vision. I saw a garden around the house. The child Jesus was looking for flowers among the bushes. And then I saw my wife lying down. And I saw how the hands of the child Jesus came near and brought her flowers. After that vision, I had other visions. But the beautiful thing is to see how the child Jesus listened to our desires as we asked them. All these manifestations of the child Jesus are wonderful. They bring us much joy and reassure us of the divine friendship that God wants to have with each one of us. John 14, verse 21 He who receives my precepts and keeps them, he it is who loves me. He who loves me will be loved by my Father, 
and I will love him and manifest myself to him. John 14 verse 23 If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode in him. I hope you enjoyed listening to these experiences. Remember that in the first video, I described several visions with the child Jesus. Also, follow the link written in the description that takes you to the, to the child Jesus page where you will find everything I have written about him, including messages. With the Lord's help, I will continue to give testimony of these heavenly treasures, the secrets of the King. If you like this video, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. God bless you.